Hey guys, welcome to our Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to show you the demonstration of JSP action tags. Basically, these action tags are used to control the flow between pages. And also, you can use uh, Java Beans. So, now how to control the flow between pages? Uh, in servlets, we have used a concept called as request dispatcher and then we use forward and include method similarly we have jsp forward jsp include tags uh, for the similar purpose and uh, we use send redirect method in servlet right so in jsp we have this uh, use bean basically this comes under java beans java beans are a collection of objects means the classes uh, so we can call anywhere or anytime we want similar to object classes okay uh, so here we have one more uh, tag called as set property get property this is similar to set attribute and get attribute right and then we have a jsp plugin jsp param that is parameter if you want to set the values for a parameter you can use this fine so now uh, i'm going to implement an example using uh, two action tags in this demo and then i'll be exploring the rest of the action tags in the upcoming videos so in this example i'm going to use forward tag and uh, the include a tag so now we can see that this is my code and uh, this is index.jsp and i'm simply going to say that jsp forward page and then i'm passing the second page uh, name means uh, second.html over here fine so it is going to directly print this result for me means whenever i run the program it, it checks this particular page it will not print this part for me it will just read this part and then it goes over here fine so this is about the forward page it will be forwarded to another page similarly if i use include action tag this include action tag is you know the best uh, preferred method for uh, generating dynamic pages or creating dynamic pages how it is going to so for example uh, you can see that uh, this is you know these are all these stuff these all these stuffs of code will be automatically available when you create a jsp file so now what i want to do is in, in body i have to just add this line what is that jsp include i'm saying action tag and then page equal to show date dot jsp so that page is over here this is show date now what i'm trying to do in that is I'm just going to print some text like the date and time is uh, for today and then i'm just again we have seen this one in the previous videos how to you know import this particular uh date uh package like i'm saying today is and then i'm saying new java.util.date so it means it is going to print the date now what happens the outputs output is going to be like this first it is going to print this for me this is an index page then it will include this page information show date page information in the same page right it will not go to another page and then it will not print that particular information that is the difference between forward and include in forward it forwards the entire page to another page and then the results will be displayed but in include it the page will be included with the previous uh you know page so let's explore that one with the demo uh, demo uh, let me switch to netbeans and uh, okay so here you can see that i have two files so both are jsp so i need to use web.xml file and then i need to specify which file i want to execute first okay using welcome file list and then in import dot jsp uh, you can see that there is uh, my code what i'm saying is that this is first page and then directly i'm saying that jsp forward action tag and then i'm using page equal to second.jsp in second.jsp i'm just simply displaying this text i'm a forwarded page now what happens if i run the program let's check this out you see that it is directly printing the result of the second page getting it means from the first page it is forwarded to the second page and then i'm getting the result now if i try the same means uh, like using include tag let's see this again i have uh, two jsp files here we know that whenever we use only jsp file then we need to use web.xml and again even in this let me close all these things yeah 
uh, I'll open this page, this page, and then even web.xml. And then in welcome file list, I have specified index.jsp to be executed first. Okay. So I'm opening index.jsp. Now you can see that. In this, I'm printing this text. This is an index page. And then I'm saying JSP colon include. And I want to include this page. So I'm saying page equal to new JSP dot JSP. So now what happens? Whatever is there in this. So this line and then this sort of date will be included in the previous page. Getting it, it will not forward or, or, or it will not go to another page. So what I'm saying here, this is a scriptlet tag. And then I'm saying out dot print. And then I'm printing this particular thing and then I'm, I just want the date. So I'm specifying the date package here. Now, if I just run the program, you see the difference between this. Just let me run. See this first, it printed this. And then the moment it read this page and then you got this output and then it is printing the uh, date also it means this is this particular line is the output of the first page. And then the rest of the two lines are included in the same page. It will, it will, it is not forwarded fine it is just included so this is how a, a jsp action tags works particularly we have seen in this video how to use jsp colon forward and jsp colon include both the tags so if you like the video hit the like button and uh, do subscribe my channel um,